Elon Musk has become the world's richest person after the share price of his company Tesla increased. Now, his net worth now reportedly stands at $185 billion. This means he has overtaken the previous holder of this title, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. Now, this is from a BBC report. They write, Mr. Musk's electric car company, Tesla, has surged in value this year and hit a market value of $700 billion or £516 billion for the first time on Wednesday. That makes the car company worth more than Toyota, Volkswagen, Hyundai, GM and Ford combined. Now, that is phenomenal. This is a, this is a company which has only turned a profit this year. It has, hasn't turned a profit before that because it's been spending more than it has been taking in. Now, they are all the biggest car companies in the world. Enormous revenue. So is this a bubble? Is this, is this investors getting completely carried away by uh, the fact that the price keeps going up a bit like with Bitcoin or something? Or are people betting that electric cars are the future and, and that Tesla is completely going to dominate that market? Um, whatever happens, Elon Musk is probably going to have a lot of money. Um, this is what he says he wants to spend it on. Um, so this is from a, a tweet from a little while ago. Um, he says, about half my money is intended to help problems on Earth and half to help establish a self-sustaining city on Mars to ensure continuation of life of all species in case Earth gets hit by a meteor like the dinosaurs or World War Three happens and we destroy ourselves. Now, uh, the chances of a meteoroid hitting this country, this country, sorry, it's very parochial of me there, a meteoroid <laughs> hitting the planet in the near future are very small, much more likely is it becomes inhabit uninhabitable because of climate change. So I'd kind of prefer him to be investing that money in green technologies instead of getting to Mars. I doubt that many people can live on Mars, although you could say the electric cars kind of falls into that. Dahlia, I want your take on this. What does it say about capitalism that Elon Musk is now the world's richest man? I mean, it, it tells me that wealth is generated on completely fraudulent and ridiculous bases. Um, I have to say that I'm actually kind of surprised that he overtook Bezos um, in this particular moment. Like, obviously, these kind of figures change a lot. They change, like, very frequently. Um, but, you know, Amazon has just harnessed the coronavirus crisis so effectively uh, that I just kind of expected it to be like solidly Bezos for a while. Um, but obviously, you know, we need to pierce through this ridiculous myth making that happens around people like Elon Musk. Um, you know, this idea that he um, is just like this genius and he's frequently called a genius by politicians and, you know, politicians in the US in particular uh, really kind of like helped to fabricate this. Uh, Trump called him a genius for multiple times. Uh, California legislators and governors all kind of play into this. He did not amass this wealth through any individual genius. He's not even the actual legit co-founder of Tesla. He actually essentially bought that label um, through an out-of-court settlement with the actual people that did found um, Tesla. He he amassed this wealth from union busting on an unprecedented scale, uh, government subsidies, $4.9 billion of government subsidies to be precise, uh, ex you know, violating basic labor and health and safety standards. Uh, the most recent example of that was when he op insisted on opening the Tesla factories, despite that violating the local coronavirus lockdown rules um, in California. And actually, the rules around lockdown changed. You know, the California changed those rules in order to accommodate uh, Elon Musk wanting to open up his factory. Um, his wealth also comes from the fact that, you know, the money that that kicked off his career uh, comes from the fact that his family are in, were involved in the emerald mining business in South Africa, which in apartheid South Africa. And, you know, the mining business especially was absolutely central to the economic fabric of apartheid. Uh, mining was a really is a really central and it continues to be um, a central site of ex very heavy exploitation and violence against uh, black Southern Africans. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, so it's often said that there's no such thing as a self-made billionaire. And I think Elon Musk is a perfect uh, case study of that. So really, you know, the, the kind of mythologizing that we are, we will be seeing of Elon Musk and people like him is pretty nauseating. He's sort of part of this emerging, it's particularly prevalent in Silicon Valley, this emerging cult 
of the tech billionaire um, or the, you know, the, the uber wealthy uh, sort of innovator, um, which kind of, in a sense, gave rise to Trump. You know, this idea that, you know, billionaires will save us from uh, the big structural issues of the day and that, you know, um, Elon Musk, when the pandemic started, he said that he was going to provide California with loads of ventilators that, you know, again, which is what prompted the California um, that politicians to treat him like some kind of messiah and then it ended up actually that he was providing CPAP machines which weren't in any kind of which weren't you know there was like which wasn't under resourced and is you know far cheaper and far easier to make than ventilators um, but also this idea that you know we should put more billionaires and more millionaires in government because and Trump used this a lot and I think it really contributed to his appeal that you know he's going to run the country in the way that he runs one of his businesses which to be fair he's kind of delivered on because you know most of his businesses ended in bankruptcy and you know a garbage fire um, which is kind of also now what's happening in the U.S. Um, but in reality, these very people are the very cause of a lot of the, the problems that we are facing, including the climate crisis, as you pointed out, Michael. Mm -hmm.